These are the trending topics on the morninghustle.com. Yep, I'm switching it up, though. Not trending topics. We're doing a lowdown with L'Oreal, who uh, apparently was at Rolling Loud and was rolling so loud she can't talk anymore. Right, L'Oreal? So no worries, though, because we're a team. The Morning Hustle is a team. Angie Ange, I'm going to hold it down. And L'Oreal is going to be like, I'm going to be busted. She's going to be split star. We're going to get through it. Oh, my God. I just was with them and live, and that's why I can't talk. (laughs) This is another reason you can't talk. Well, you just heard a uh, money back yo on why Keisha looks like uh, Ashanti might have stepped in the booth with money back yo. Could it be uh, a remix to why Keisha? I mean, he is sampling the Ashanti record, right? Foolish. Well, he's sampling. I'm going to say Herb. Biggie's record. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll do Biggie's record. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll have to see how that comes out. Um, but speaking of features and uh records that we're waiting to see what comes out kanye west all right he had the big listening party at mercedes-benz stadium everybody was expecting donda to drop over the weekend no one has yet to hear donda on any streaming platforms and that's because apparently he has locked himself into mercedes-benz stadium and he is living out of mercedes-benz stadium until further notice or at least until he actually drops the album right and he also Mm-hmm. was spotted at a soccer game in Atlanta, <laughs> still wearing the same outfit from the Donda <laughs> listening. It's like Kanye. I get that that Gap jacket is sold out <laughs> and those new boots are exclusive. But sis, if you don't find another form of outfit, <laughs> wear the black one. <laughs> Maybe a black else. one. Do no, but I, I get the logic. Sometimes you got to put yourself <laughs> under extreme pressure. Like, you know, he can't change his outfit until yeah. he finishes the Donda album. So he's going to thug it out in the whole red joint until he gets it finished. Well, no, I'm going to tell you what happened. Slow down. Uh-huh. He forgot to pack luggage because he didn't know he was moving in. Back. He thought he was only going for the party. He so thought this he was a day one day. outfit. Yeah. Send that man to City <laughs> Trends. He watched his drawers in the sink. <laughs> Oh, my God. I hope not. But it's, according to L'Oreal's lowdown, it's looking like August 6th might be the new date. And uh could be some features inc- that he's waiting on, uh, including something from Chris Brown. So we'll have I, to see. I how can't goes. wait to hear Kanye and Chris Brown together on the record. That's going to be epic. And Chris Brown is amazing. And I heard he kills this record. So we'll see what happens. And, oh, and people are killing Justin LeBoy because for some reason he's become the spokesperson <laughs> of when Kanye's album is coming out, and people don't like that at all. Yeah, at all. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Uh, we don't need him as the spokesperson. Let's just drop the Donda. Now, yeah, uh, you it. know, speaking of killing from killing performances to uh, killing stages, Rolling Loud, which is where L'Oreal has been down in Miami, uh, having such a good time that now she doesn't have a voice. Um, so but a, the big thing at Rolling Loud was the baby. Of course, he was one of the big headliners and uh, put on uh, quite the show. So much show that so much uh, of a show that people threw shoes at him on stage. Did it get tense <laughs> or not? Take a listen. Put a hand in the air with a cell phone and turn the f- light on. You special too. Who the f- busted that f- damn Adidas? That was partisan now, Fontaine that threw that shoe. <laughs> I believe that. that. It's Megan's boyfriend. He also had a bed on stage or something, and he wanted somebody to get in a bed with him. I'm like, listen, Danny Lay did that, and look what happened to her. Don't get (laughs) in the bed with him. Don't get in the bed with the baby. Well, looks like the baby. baby. He was in the bed. He had shoes thrown at him on stage. But um, also on stage, a surprise guest that came out that uh, people weren't expecting, apparently. Listen. I'll get somebody out here a million dollars if they can guess who in here. I got a million, million dollars right now if you can guess who. Photon, Stunner, who you think? Who? Who? I know who that is. I know who the f that is. Let's go. Let's go. Who is it? It's Tory Lanez. He brung out Tory Lanez, and the song that he performed before that was Cry Baby. He did it on purpose. There's mm. no way he didn't realize he did Cry Baby and then the other song he did with Meg when Tori got out of there. Why? Mm. Shots will he's, stick together. I think he's supposed to be neutral and everything, or he said he's a real one. Right, real one he said he that. was a real N-word, but apparently 
he was very loyal to Tory Lanez right after Meg. So I think that's a little funny. I mean, but if you read the fine print between how they've been operating with each other for a long time, like there's like some weird subliminal thing that's been going on between the baby and Meg for a long time. Mm. And I think some of the things they were doing was strictly out of business. Dang, well, it's unfortunate because they got a great chemistry when it comes to uh, them making records. Very Last true. but not least, um, can we shout out Miss Tiffany Cross, okay? If you yes. all haven't checked out her show on uh, MSNBC, it's something you might want to check out. She's going viral because she read, um, you know, the former Fox the hell News commentator uh, Megan Kelly. She read her left, right, up, down uh, with regards to Naomi Osaka and her recent uh, comments towards Naomi Osaka, not speaking to the media, but gracing magazine covers nonetheless. So take a listen to Tiffany Cross going in on Megyn Kelly and all the other Karens out there. Listen. The 50-year-old bully is trying to bulldoze her way back into relevance that only comes to women like her for being a provocateur, not for offering any type of intellectual input. Nevertheless, here we are. Why? Because the blackface connoisseur who had to apologize for ridiculously asking why it was racist for white people to wear blackface for Halloween is now going after someone who's less than half her age but has twice her intelligence. And it it gets, the rant uh, just keeps going. I mean, she she read her, like, for real, for real. So, um, yeah, shout out to... Tiffany Cross, if you haven't already seen her show, it's on MSNBC. It's called The Cross Connection. Definitely check her out. She definitely comes with the truth to power messaging, okay? Very well, then. Thank you so much, Angie. Well, time right now is uh, 21 minutes for the top of the hour. And, uh, you know, hip-hop is a culture that talks about spending a lot of money. Yo, our money expert, you not thought, is going to tell you how to save some money coming up next. Be sure you tap in and get this info. What's up next? The Morning Hustle.